Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Triffy and welcome back to another Misfits Racing League highlights video. We are here, of course, in Mexico City. It is the club division taking you through the highlights. We hope you enjoy. But yes, Chen Jay on pole position. Ben the Bear lining up next to him in second. ZZ9, his teammate, of course, not his teammate, but ZZ9 in third with his teammate. Fraser right behind him in fourth. King is in fifth. Zamas sixth. Freebird seventh. We have Custom in eighth. Botas gang ninth here with money. Rounding out the top 10. Yeah, I hope he hasn't hurt his start here. Everyone's loading onto the grid, so I think that might be the case. And turn one, like you said, you can't win the race there, but you can certainly lose it. The lights are all red. Everyone's revving up, and away we go here for Mexico. And Shenji looking like he's had a pretty poor start. Ben already passed him. The two Mercedes Fraser look like he's got a nice start on CZ9. They're both side by side. Shenji trying to slipstream Ben coming down towards turn one. It doesn't look like Alex has started the race. Ben now is still Ooh, in P1. The two Mercedes Freeware. are side by side. CZ9 holds up to third. Freeware is doing work over here. He had a very good start. He's made up two positions already. He's in the fifth position and now we've had an issue. Yellow flag popping up. It's wheel to wheel contact, I think. A lot of tight battling right now. Custom and Zamis are wheel to wheel. Three out of turn five. A bit vulnerable to Wisp, who's going to go side by side with him down towards turn four. Wisp on the outside. Jinikari holding the inside. Nice defensive to the inside, but you can see Wisp there just holding oh, it. Mert. Looking for it down into turn five. Yeah, Mert's just got a lovely view of this. Mert might even have a look at Jinikari if Jinikari gets a bad exit. Look at the run here out of the Alpha. Will Money make a move? He comes to the outside. Remco now defending on the inside. How does this go through turn two? The Alpha Romeo on the inside. A little bit of a cut over the curbing there, but he will have the DRS to hunt down Remco into turn four. We know how Remco likes to defend. He's going to squeeze off Money as best he can here. Wheel to wheel. We have an aerial view. Remco now, the inside through turn five. Holding that Alfa Romeo onto the outside, next through the double right. Does he have enough traction in these hearts to keep him there? Yes, yes he does. Uh, and obviously he has a completely different tire strategy, so right now it's money who needs to be going fast. And you can see again, he's holding this inside line. And I imagine we're gonna see him late on the brakes into turn two, trying to squeeze around the outside. There you can, you can see his front wing up the inside and now no Slipstream for money. Remco still on that outside. Burning ERS, but nowhere near as much as money who's had to come off. Now, again, Remco late on the brakes. A little bit of a lockup, but you can see he's this, there's nowhere money can go. He's just holding those inside lines, and it's just beautiful stuff coming out of this Red Bull. ZZ9 and King now. ZZ9 has really dropped off from where he began things in that second row because he's now into sixth position. He's been overtaken by the Williams and everybody inside of the top nine on the softs right now. Do it. Oh, man. We saw what he did against money. We saw what he did against money. And now shenji has got big problem. He's doing the same thing here. A big squeeze out from the Dutchman there. Shenji around the outside off circuit. Will he get this move back around the outside? Remco has a good... But he's got the traction. Shenji's lost out to Fraser. And this is a really big problem. And why is this happening to Shenji right now? Well, look at those hard compound tires. Fraser in that Mercedes. He's on the fresh mediums. Remco down into turn one. And if Fraser does get Remco, Remco's had such a good exit though. But if, Remco, if, if Fraser can get past Remco, which it looks like he is about to do around the outside, it's going to be close. But if Chen is going to be stuck behind Remco for another lap, here's Fraser late on the brakes around the outside. And I don't think Remco... What a move. This. He isn't. And that is critical in this race. Chen I don't think he's going to be able to get Rails Remco. We're about to see the Red Bull do it once again. But Chen has got some... Distortionate pace coming down into turn four. I think it's too little too late. Both oh. locking up though. Remco's had a huge lock up. A little bit of contact. Oh, Shenzhen's made it through. Barking up the Red Bull's rear. And that is, of course, the sister car looking through on the inside now with the DRS wide open. ZZ9. Now, according to the race control, has now re-entered the session. Remco defending against Freeware on the inside through the hairpin. Back through on the line is Freeware into fifth position. Try and get the run out of the final corner on custom. Here he goes, the Renault. One of the McLarens has had an issue in the second sector, but right now it's Zamas up the inside of custom. He's got the run, he's got the speed, he'll have DRS, but custom laying on the brakes he is defending against the Renault and has successfully done it into turn one. Can he do it again into turn four? Zamas a little bit 
early on the throttle, it would seem, out of turn three. Finds the inside line. Late on the brakes for Zamus. And that's a very, very nice overtake from the Renault. Not getting it on the first time, but the second time he has sealed the deal here. Very nice from Zamus there. Very clean driving from both of them. You love to see it, Unicorn. That was a very neat defense from Custom there. A very good offense from Zamus that ended up netting him a position. Right now, Mammal has Fubar in his crosshairs. Here we go now on the outside line heading into turn four. Mammal breezing by. The back of Wavy Wavy on the 14 lap old mediums. He started this race on Fraser now up into P2. And obviously he has pitted and then ahead of him has three seconds. Remco Van Putin has Bottas gang now who's just overtaken him for sixth position. I think Remco might have a snap to the inside for a defense here, but Bottas was later on the brakes. Damas right now. This is compromised Remco, I think, and the tire wear, I think, starting to play for Remco a little bit too much here. But he will have that DRS, of course. Alex Bido doesn't care. He's burning all of that battery to defend this. Up the inside through four. ZZ9 holding well. He's looking for a switchback, Alex, right now. He's trying to get that car rotated. He has a look to the inside. He's going for it. ZZ9 left some space. Bido wants it. Oh, that was a tight move there from Alex. Offense in that corner. Freezing by Bottas gang now with that DRS in full utilization heading into turn one. He is clear ahead of the McLaren. On the medium. And so Putin on the inside. Wisp has the Dutchman flying ahead of him on the inside into 12th position. And I just had to try and catch that as it was happening very quickly. That Red Bull on a serious charge. And we're going to switch on back over to Wavy. Alex Bido having a good exit out of the final turn here. But Wavy with that DRS, the fresh tires. He's looking for the outside. What? Ooh, that was a very, very unique move out of Wavy because Alex Bitto pretty well not leaving any space on that outside. It would have had to be two wheels on, two wheels off for Wavy. Alex Bitto narrowly shutting the door there. That almost became a yellow flag, I think. He is slowly closing Shenjay now. The run on Fraser is absolutely extreme. He's absolutely breezed past the Mercedes. Do know one thing, King looking for a move on Wavy. Wavy on the outside, King with a lunge, three on the inside of turn four. Will the wheel coming through turn five right now? That's the Williams on the rears of the racing point. He's going to look for the inside into six and seven. Nothing doing just yet. And I did not see Bottas gang coming in. I don't think King did either. And speaking of fresh sauce, Freeways just picked off ZZ9 oh, wow. for fifth place. ZZ9 nines the pits. Look at the traction out of Bottas, gang. He's just taken Wavy through sector three, and there's oh, a Wavy. big slide out of Wavy. He's into the wall on three lap older tires. Here we have it now. Alex Bitto wanting that outside line. Well, I've just seen some very, very interesting things. Uh, Shenjay's just been unlapped by Wavy. Wavy just overtook Shenjay and Remco and Bino. Alex now ends up here. Looks like we know him to do, and this is giving him a really bad exit out of turn three. He has had a big snap. He's taken a penalty, and ZZ9 is clear through, and this, this is exactly what Alex does not want. He wanted Remco to put up a solid defense by the end of this straight, and here we have the DRS to the inside. How's this going to go for him with no battery? Alex Bitto expending everything he has as well. Backmarker traffic going to give Shenjay DRS, but it's not enough. It's not enough. No, but it will. It will give him DRS down into turn four as well. Obviously, he won't be able to make the overtake, I don't think, unless Ben has a huge, huge snap here. But Ben still has that penalty to deal with. Other penalties, so he needs to pick up two on well, in the last two laps because I didn't check last lap either but now through the hairpin you can see all of the colors of the Mexican flags being thrown up in the standings and well here he comes and the bell what a drive well Shenjay P2 Fraser now P3 coming out of the Mercedes freeware the German will be looking to cross fourth Zamis See how things play in penalties for these drivers as Zamis will cross fifth on the line. Bottas gang, no penalties for the McLaren. Will secure fourth. And he has now managed to hop both Freeware and Zamis into a serious hollow points. Mammal's car is spun around here. 